All right, so with the above water, uh, good things that your your body is on the surface of the water, so your hips and legs are are kind of even with your torso. You're not sinking. You got a, a good rhythm to your breathing, and you're getting a good extension on your arms once they enter the water. Now, a few things that you probably worked on since the clinic. When you're when you're recovering your arms, that's when your arms come back to the front. See how your your hands are going over your elbows at this point? You want your hands to usually re remain below your elbows. It uh, it helps eliminate some of the sort of swinging back and forth motion that you can see here. And when you're reaching forward with that left arm, you're really kind of driving that arm down, and it's actually uh, taking your head down as well. So. That's, that's creating that bobble that you see, a little bit of an up and down bobble. Now that, the side to side wiggle that you're seeing is a bit of uh, over rotation, primarily on the, the right side when that right arm goes in. So your right arm is going in, it's sort of angling across your center line, if you recall the center line discussion that we had and it's causing your hips to go back and forth slightly. <clears throat> so what you want to do when you enter the water, you want to uh, direct your, your hand kind of straight forward, like straight in front of your shoulder. Yeah, so you're rotating a lot. You know, sometimes I got to tell people to rotate more. You're actually rotating a bit too much on both sides. So you want to, you do want your body to rotate, but you want the rotation to be, uh, be functionally, so that your arm is extending forward as well as possible. So that rotation will be a result of reaching your shoulder and arm forward. And then you may recall from the uh, the class, your pulling mechanics underwater are what I would call an elbow slip or an elbow leading the stroke back. And at the end of the video, there's some freeze frames. But notice how you, you reach forward, you really got a good extension there. The left arm might be a little low, but the extension is good. And once you start pulling back, your your hand and your forearm are still sort of parallel to the bottom of the pool. What you want your hand and forearm to do are to go vertical to the bottom of the pool, and that creates the, the leverage that allows you to pull your body forward through the water. So the drills that you would work on for that, uh, primarily one-arm drill, a uh, catch-up drill where you focus on the catch or the, or the pull, doggy paddle, if you remember doggy paddle, that's that one where your head is out of the water and you reach forward and then just work on the first front part of the stroke. A fist drill and uh, getting the tech paddles would actually benefit you quite a bit. So it's T-E-C-H-P-A-D-D-L-E dot -E com. Um, and, and you know, using all those, doing those drills quite often and thinking about rotating your sh shoulder internally, getting your elbow up and getting the catch would really help. So here with that right arm, see how your, your right arm comes in, kind of across your head, and then, then goes back. So you want that hand to enter and then go directly in front of the shoulder. So good extension, just a little deep. And then you start the pullback, but see how the elbow is in front of the, the hand and forearm, and the hand and forearm are still kind of parallel to the bottom of the pull. So you've got a lot of slippage, or you're not uh, you're not gripping the water. You're not creating leverage to pull yourself through the water. So you, a swimmer could have everything else really good, but if they have that um, flaw in the stroke, always going to be limited on speed. So you have to get the at least some catch with the, the the stroke. Here, pretty much the same thing. So your hand and your forearm are still parallel to the bottom of the pool. So the pull that you're getting out of this stroke is really coming from your upper arm, believe it or not. You're getting just a little bit from your hand and forearm. 
So that's going to be a number one fix for you. Everything else you could leave the same. If you improve that catch mechanics, you're going to go a lot faster. In total, if you can work on catch, arm recovery, arm extension point, uh, you'll be a lot faster and a lot smoother and more comfortable. And uh, I hope all that helps. Have a great summer.